Yeah. Alright, adventure skill. Curiosity. Okay, yeah, that, okay, yeah, I'm at 20 experience points out of 56. Okay. That's curious. The old tavern's bustling. Well equipped adventurers appear to have been waiting in the tavern. Welcome back! Your guild tag is ready. Yay. As for requests, afraid this is all we've got at the moment. King's rescue. Due to the princess's proclamation, this is all I can offer. Once this request has been fulfilled, I'll be able to offer others. You're from the abyss, ain't ya? What do you think? It's a great opportunity to get in good with the princess and the knights. Well, that's convenient. My body and your memories are both lost in the abyss. If we're going to look for clues, that's the only place to do it. Let's take this quest. Hmm? Something wrong? You talk to yourself like you're speaking with someone. So? Will you accept this request to rescue the king? The guild tries to recommend adventurers with experience in the abyss. Welcome to the guild tavern where legends are born. Anything quest. catch your fancy? Accept. With mine own eyes, I see the quest has been accepted. Look around. There must be nobody in sight. Do not ignore me. I'm here. Down here. If he is a girl dressed as a knight. I am Sir Oman. I have come to guide you. Oman grabs your hand and begins walking purposefully. At the back of the tavern, knights have gathered. Fernan, I brought an outstanding adventurer. Huh? And who is this exactly? Fernan quickly looks you up and down before giving it a derisive snort. Kooky mask, rancid odor. Something odd about this one. Who are you, anyway? Cut it out, Fernan. Don't besmirch the adventurer I brought. I ain't about to take just any adventurer who shows up. Just because there ain't a lot of good candidates, doesn't mean I want this one. Forget it. Find someone else. Not that easy. The guild guarantees the quality of its adventurers. You looking for trouble with the adventurer's guild? Damn. Whose idea was it to bring adventurers in on this anyway? I ain't about to trust my life to some outsider I've never met. I won't have it! Well, that might be a kooky mask, but it's grown on me. It'll grow on him, too. Probably. It would seem that all our members have been assembled. The old knight straighten up and turn to face the owner of the voice. Lord Commander, I bring you a brave adventurer. It's the masked adventurer. Yeah. I know you're impressed with me. My thanks, Elman. Welcome. My name is Dylan Hart Owen Leone. I am commander of the Royal Knights. You have been to the Abyss, have you not? We call upon you to guide us within the Abyss. I trust you've spoken with Fernan and Elman. They are honorable knights, despite being rather rough around the edges. I hope no offense was taken. You are a generous man. My thanks. Let us have a chat. The night commander looks around and lowers his voice. What I am about to tell you is strictly confidential. Not a word to anyone. Officially, the king has fallen into the abyss. But that is not the whole truth. The king has been kidnapped by a greater warped one that dwells within the abyss. This greater warped one, Helmut, dwells in the beginning abyss. In the royal archives, he is described as both cunning and cruel. There is also notation attesting his aptitude for traps. Our true mission is to reclaim the king from Helmut. We are up against an abhorrent monster whose very existence is said to be calamity itself. Steal yourselves, for this shall be no simple task. That commander pulls out a bag of gold coins and hands it to you. This is to cover provisions. 
Gather your companions and form a party. Money. No big deal. When you are ready, come to the outskirts of the royal capital. I'm counting on you, man from the abyss. Defeat a greater warped one? Sounds good. Maybe defeating it will lift the curse of the abyss. There's only one way to find out. Adventures, adventures revive and we'll be playing the adventures. Someone slot. you want to register? Yeah, so what's wrong? Marianne right now. Okay, we can distribute our points. For the most part, it really doesn't matter where the points go. The, the characters will gain stuff anyways. But typically, vitality, speed, and whatever stats they use are usually pretty good options. Um, I've mentioned it before. There will be oh, another person that will mention what everything does. But for the most part... Strength increases physical attack damage and um, SP, which is just physical attack skills. IQ increases magic damage, MP, and detect. So, detecting monsters, specifically. I think it also affects detecting traps as well. Piety affects holy magic damage, which would... Um, I think it also affects healing, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So, yeah, as a priest, Piety's good, uh, her good stat. As well as resistance to ailments, magic defense, and MP as well, along with IQ. Vitality increases resistance as well, as well as physical defense, HP, and SP. Uh, dexterity increases accuracy, crit chance, or and disarming traps. Uh, crit chance uh, is not the same. It's referred to as surety in this game. Um as crit specifically refers to uh, in wizardry terms refers to as instant death so it, it affects the the typical what crit is in mo pretty much every other rpg speed affects well speed uh, how fast the character moves and such uh evasion evading traps action speed all that stuff luck affects a lot of little things i don't know 100 percent all it does it affects some certain skills as well um Basically, best things to put it into her right now would probably be Heidi. I might want to put a few points of vitality in case I need to put her up in the front. Mm, yeah, three. Okay. It, it really doesn't matter. She'll get. She, uh, she'll mostly be putting more points towards mostly vitality and such. Vitality, uh, piety, anyways. Vitality is mostly important if I had to put her in the front row, depending on who I, what party members I end up getting. You can also change the registered names for. Um, the named adventurers if you really want to. God has brought us together. Hey, Marianne's here. Might as well Keep get it him short. in. Alright, might as well put him in too. He has a lot of decks. That's pretty nice. I'd like to put more points into his speed to get it to at least 15. And then decks more. Uh, thieves mostly do want Thieves mostly want decks because it affects, you know, disarming traps and stuff. And their accuracy with so you have a good eye if you're asking me to join. It's also evil. Can't edit. Who's going to be in your party? Okay. Um. Yep. Yes, as long as you've got the coin. Yep. You can change what their position by dragging and dropping them. Bunch of milk subs, huh? Anyone who built good and reliable. Hey. I guess the supplies. Take this with you. Ventures who belong to the guild get provisions once a day. If you get a big request and can't make it back soon, we'll hold them for seven days. Come and get them whenever you want. It's good. That seven days is pretty nice. These I, are haven't, today's supplies. I haven't paid too much attention to that. Okay, so I got some five, 500 gold. Don't forget to collect tomorrow's supplies, too. Just the daily login stuff. It only goes up to 14 days, and then just resets back to day one again. And we got the special supplies for the current event. Right, got okay. some special supplies. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna get everything on this one. Oh well. I was wondering if I was if I was gonna make it. I there's a good chance that I might actually get to the point where my main where I could just slot to my main account before I reach day seven anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. It's just, it's a legendary bone. Manageable. Also the one from this the lamp of malice event. Which is just an annoying vent, to be completely honest. Oh, they're, okay, they're both air. Yeah, they're elements. Okay. Guild mailbox. Let's grab stuff. Adventurer's passport. I'm 
picking it at one at a time, because if you grab both these adventure passports, do not stack. If I grab this one, then it basically, it, they'll basically both get used up. Something I did not realize when I did receive all. So it's best not to do that. But, some Harkins. Harkins are very nice, because those are, Harkins are basically Ariadne threads. Adventures Remains, we got a Legendary Adventures Remain. A Thief. A Priest. Creeping Coin Carapace, which I believe is a cell item. Uh, some junk that we can make more items for. Some fireballs. Antitoxins. Herbs. And more Adventure Remains. Yay! A lot of nice stuff. Which means I can get more party members and I may or may not be using these characters. Especially since Marianne is a is a good character and uh, Bekash is an evil. Not that it really matters too much. It, it it affects affection ratings. My character is good. I have not had any evil characters invite me to the tavern or anything, which has made me sad. Welcome, welcome, my lord. Hmm. Oh, an adventurer, huh? I thought you might be a knight, so I'd have to add a little flourish. <laughs> I recommend the healing potions. Essential for adventuring, am I right? I believe I have a bunch of them right now. Welcome. Typically, if you start off, it's best to get some get some of these medical herbs for the beginning of the game. Although you could buy bronze weapons and such, I would suggest not bothering. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I have. I, I might have to check my st stash because I did get, just get a bunch of pot. Uh, healing herbs, which I probably don't need to bring along with me. But yeah, basically the bronze stuff, don't bother buying. You'll find you'll get more than enough of that crap in the in the labyrinth anyway, so you're good. The Royal Knight stuff. This is actually a really, really good sword. 32 times 2 versus the bronze swords 20 times 2. It's definitely one of the better swords you can actually get in the first labyrinth. I think it's the iron tier or something like that, which is at the tier after bronze. But it's very expensive, so don't buy that for a very, very long time. Silver Work Staff it probably has higher priority. Staves are good because they have both magic power and divine power. Basically, um, you want to put that in your priest or mage because they'll make their spells better. The two-handed ones are much better than the one-handed ones. What does this one do? Oh, resistance, okay. I don't remember what most of this stuff does. 12 defense, Royal Knight's armor. I never even bought the armor now that I think about it. <laughs> I'm just curious to see what was all in here for right now. I think Marianne might have a mace. She has something. What does she have equipped now that I think about it? What's wrong? Uh, yeah, she has a mace. Everybody starts off with worn out and stone. Thanks for the business. Check out the item shop. Join the knights at the edge of town. Okay. Well, I got a bunch of stuff that I can use here, so let's take a look at that. We got another thief. Uh, I believe we. Uh, yeah. The one that says specifically thief, you only get a general adventure from that and nothing else. So I'm I have a chance of I could get another big cash or I can get any of these characters. Maybe I shouldn't have said thief. Oh well. Maybe I should have said fighter. Alright, who do we get? Where am I? What's happened to me? I'm Philip, a lowly thief. I was raised human, so don't expect me to be the good little elf. Okay, well, we got Philip. Another priest. Huh? Oh. What? Are you? Every time I try to remember what happened. Okay. So we got another Marianne, okay. I mean, I'm not complaining. She's 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 probably like I said, she's one of the better priests for a specific reason. Um, yeah, might as well go into it. All the named guys keep it short. All the named adventurers have a special passive. 
Um, Bakesh's is Earth Game Blessing. Basically, all Earth-type damage for dwarves in the same row reduces Earth-type damage for all row. Uh, not a big deal right now, because spells are not going to be very common for a while. But it exists. It's mostly useful if you have more dwarves than just him. It does count him, too. And Mary and Special. What's wrong? Um, that's, 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 that's. Hers is Frugal Faith. Uh, ignore continuously. It's um just a pa It's just a passive skill. Basically, all the MP of all of her priest skills that it costs six or less uh cost less, so she can cast her spells a lot more often. So she's a very very good priest. I wasn't done there. Now that I think about it. All right. So let's uh auto do the junk I just picked up. This is weapons and armor and stuff. We'll be finding more than more than plenty of these and things. Okay, it's twisted staff, which might be better than what she has. Maybe possibly hard to say. These are not worn, so I believe these are automatically better. Okay, let's take a look at the adventurer's remains and see what we get out of this. All right, here we got. Who's there? Yes, you, over there! My king? Is that you? I am Sir Eckhart. I have cause to wander the land, but I have not abandoned my honor. I am indebted. If you call, I am at your service. Okay, he's a knight. Uh, not, yeah, he has bo seven bonus points. Knights are tanks, basically. They're not uh, quite as good at the physical stuff, but they're very good at keeping the party alive at times. Hmm. Oh. I should... Right, I, I was... I usually do auto. Okay, so it should do ten rolls now. Yeah, use it at ten times. Okay. Ooh! Oh, is that at... Damn it! I know who that is because of the crown. If, if you see a flower growing out of their head, then that means that it's um, yes. legendary. You shall witness my return, Yvonne. So it is you who awoke me. Do you know to whom you speak? You desire the strength of Millennia, Lord Adam? Know your place, adventurer. Yep, okay, so yeah. Adam is a legendary character, so 5%... Legendaries are 5% drop. They're not terribly hard to get, surprisingly. Um, I have Adam on my main account, but I have not actually... I don't think I've actually really used him outside of leveling up to 20 and haven't done anything with him yet. Alright, who else we got? Okay, no voice. A character that doesn't have a voice doesn't have... Uh, is just a generic adventurer. They also don't have names. You can set names for them. Obviously, th this is where you're supposed to set names. From what I understand, uh, uh, Elf Mage here has the highest IQ growth out of all the characters in the game so far. Okay, there's Generic Fighter. There's Philip again. I'm Philip. Where am I? What happened to me? I thought I died. Did you save me? Name's Viviana. I'm kind of a big deal among thieves. I do anything as long as there's a handsome reward. Where? What was I? D Did you save me, masked man? I am Clarissa, the daughter of a duke. I do not fully grasp what has happened, but rest assured, I will repay this favor. You have but to call upon me. All right, peace thief. Huh? 
I feel very well rested. But wh <coughs> where, where am I? Right. I was looking for mineral ore to bring back as a souvenir. You saved me. Much appreciated. Okay, Elf Priest. Elf Priest again. Pretty good. Yep. Go again. I should definitely get into those uh, daily things. Alright, what do we got? Um, oh, yes. Um, Human priest, who's very, who's an oddly popular character. <laughs> who's there? Yes, I am Eckhart Sir again. Eckhart. Uh, my bastard of a father, Bakesh, Bakesh. is the name. Okay, dwarf knight. Uh, I feel sick. You saved me. You're an odd human. I'm Elda. I'm mixed blood, elf and human. I don't particularly think elves are the exalted race. Where am I? I need to make dinner. My name is Ophelia, and I've got pretty good skills. Oh, I meant cooking skills, by the way. Nice to meet you. No, no. Uh, don't come near me. No, stay away from me. I'm called Amelia. I'm a natural-born thief, so I'm the best. You want me? The pay better be right. Okay. Cool. Oh, that was the legendary. But okay, I thought I got. I thought I got lucky on Adam. Okay. And then I had another one to go for. Oh well, whatever. All right, adventures go. Welcome to the okay. Guild Tavern, where let someone you want to register. Okay, so certainly. I'm not sure how good Bakesh is as a thief. Jean, I know, is quite nice because I actually use him in my current party right now. Let's see. I definitely want a thief. Um, I don't really need a knight. In... Well, it's not a bad idea to put a knight in the party, anyways. Um. Clarissa is the only. Wait, no, Clarissa is. It would either be Eckhart or Clarissa. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I might as well just register them anyways. Um, which version of Philip has the highest. They both have five. Of course they do. How may I be of service? Uh, okay, Dex and Speed would be your thing. Maybe a little bit of strength too to make your damage and not sh be shit. You would like me to join you? Very well. At your service. Adam. Be quick about it. Okay, Adam. Yeah, get and get that fucking speed. You ask for my power. Only an equal exchange. Something the matter? Okay, you want vitality. A little bit of strength doesn't hurt either. Some speed. Uh, yeah. You wish to elicit my help. Very well. What do you need? Yeah, 
Yeah, dwarves have so much strength. Yeah. Pump it all into speed. Dwarves have really shitty speed. I should join you. You offer much, adventurer. Viviana. What am I, your buddy? You want me in your party? Good eye. See, I pretty much already said. What's wrong? You want me to adventure with you? All right. I couldn't deny someone I owe so much to. Amelia, as I know, yeah, is yeah. pretty yeah, yeah. Amelia is good because I used her for a very long time. What? You need a good thief, huh? The passive skills for most of these characters doesn't really matter too much at this point. Let's grab Gene too. Me? I don't think I, I... I won't necessarily need Gene for his passives at this point in time. Me? Sure. Why not? to be in your party? I'll jump you out. Okay. This is a wretched bunch. May I yeah. kill any who defy me? Yeah, I figured as much, because he's probably the only evil person I have in this part. Well, Amelia is also evil, too. Something tells me you guys don't get along well. Is that how you wanted it? Hmm. What was her passive? I don't remember. Oath of Fortitude. Increases tolerance of confusion, charm, and fear for user O. And all adjacent. Adjacent means around her. Which... Uh, I don't think... Fear, I think, pops up in the first dungeon, but the other two don't. Uh, what was Eckert's again? Eckert's tanky as shit, though. Uh, Eyes of the Hero. Accuracy when equipped with one or two-handed sword. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll bring Eckert. Just, have, just put a dwarf anything. in there. Why not? Uh, Jean or Amelia? Um, oh, right, I should be paying attention to the stamina. Yeah, um, okay. Everybody's at 100, okay. You can you can roll low and get low fortitude lower than 100. It go it can go down to 80, per 80 which is like a 1% chance, so the the reverse of the good gotcha thing, because I think it's like 80% uh, chance of... I think it's like 90% chance of getting 100 or something stupid like that. Anyways, yeah, um, Amelia would probably, either Amelia or Jean would be good, sh a good option, either or, Viviana me, Viviana's a potential one too, um, element, the characters all have elements, but it's not like, ele elements are not terribly important at this point in time, because elements only really matter for elemental damage, which is not very common early on. Gene or Amelia? Amelia's faster, I think. Alright, he has treasure trap detection rate. His is earth formation. Increases damage towards water type enemies for the user and all adjacent earth type allies. If there's at least two earth type allies adjacent to him. So basically, if I popped him like. If I popped him right here and I had earth, earth. Then all three of them would get a damage boost against water type enemies. There's no water type enemies in the first dungeon. The second dungeon, on the other hand, is almost exclusively water enemies. I don't think Amelia's passive is good. I think it only affect. I think it's like what wind. Yeah, reduces wind type damage against beast folk, which it doesn't really matter too much. Um. They all learn the exact same skill. Oh, right, they, right, the t trap detection. Yeah, it's every, they all learn the same skills. It's just the unique passive. Mm. Uh, what was it? She has 17 strength. She also has 17 speed and 17 dex. What Jean have again? She, 
she would actually be better. Don't care much for goody goodies. Get in my way, and I'll cut you. Where's Viviana? Viviana's also pretty middling. Uh, what does she have? Sidestep? Oh, yeah, increase her evasion when she has cloth. Which works better if she's in the front row, because not many things are going to be attacked in the back, anyways. Adam has Adam being a legendary has two passives. This first one it reduces MP cost of all mage spells that cost six or less, meaning he can spam mage spells. The other one, uh, Wisdom of Truth, eliminates damping and being of damage and types that are disadvantaged when affected by luck. When the when the users attack, damage reduction route. And oh, and chance to reduce. Oh, okay. Is it? Oh, is that a. Okay. Okay, so yeah, the damage reduction. It just seems to be a flat damage reduction. The dampening of damage from types the user's at a disadvantage with means that if he uses an elemental spell against something that's resistant to that spell type, he just flat out ignores it. And it looks like he has a chance of uh, just to get. Um, other stuff, yeah. He learns light spells, which is not terribly helpful right now. He also has this. Secret of Lafauros. Uh, once for battle, if he's in the center back row, which is where I put him, if he, um, basically it's a big nuke spell. It's light damage. Nothing is resist- only dark- I think all- nothing's resistant to light. Dark is weak to light. And there's no dark enemies in the first labyrinth, as far as I recall. So basically it's just untyped damage for all intents and purposes right now. It costs 30 MP, so he's not casting it anytime soon, though. Okay, that should be. We'll go with that for now. Good and reliable I've been team. Spending there. way too much time on that. Outside of that, we got training room. Yeah, that's the person you want to train. What do you need? If I had books, yep, you can give them books that you get from daily quests and all that stuff. Grade up, inherit skills, which I don't have access to. Oh, retrying the beginning of this, okay. That's stuff that's for later. We can go back into that later. This should be a decent party for right now. Oh, right, yeah, I got equipment. Right. Old-fashioned gloves. Other gloves. I'm on the front row, so I should that's a nice be having piece of shit equipment. Equipped. What do you need? Maybe I should just, uh... I don't even remember what else I found. Um... Oh, he has a great sword, really? Oh, he's a... I should give him a normal sword. Because two-handed weapons are not really that much worth it early on. Maybe his accuracy increase helps. I have no idea. Knights need shields anyways, because one of their best skills uses uses their de total defense. Um... Right, I want to do, um... Yeah, yep. uh, two-handed weapons have strength base. This basically just means that it uses double the strength value. That's all it means. Give you the type. Yeah. Weapon that requires strength to wield. When equipped, the wielder's attack power is more easily conveyed. It basically just means that it, the strength scaling is doubled. That's all it means. Basically, all two-handed weapons have that. Everybody else has decent weapons. Um, gloves. Leather, etc. Okay. Getting leathers. Okay, it gives me more action speed and stuff. So yeah. That's a nice piece of equipment. Okay, they have better. Oops. I didn't pay attention to what I actually got. Oh well. Um, not a feel yet. What's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah, it's better for you. Yeah. If she's not in the front row, she shouldn't be doing this. From what that, yeah, basically, maces have, they get, they have a chance of inflicting stun. Also, I believe that, yeah. Basically, um, from what I understand, enemies can't really dodge maces. They, they hit anyways. It, it just does less damage if they try to evade. That's all. 
but we want her divine Do I spell. Look good in this? Not that she's gonna be using her spells too much for a while. Actually, thinking about that storage, medicinal herbs. I should be transferring that onto people. I need to really mess with antitoxins at the moment. Give the fire Halito scrolls to Adam for right now. That way he can cast stuff when he's out of MP. Have a good one. Okay, finally. Okay. Coming. Before that, okay. I am shot. Oh, right, because I can sell that uh, one thing I got. Um, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need those. Creeping coin carapace, 4,000 gold. You sure about this? Many thanks. Thanks for the business. I, I believe, yeah. In order to get more stuff from the Adventures Guild, I believe I need to continue on the story for now. You're not carrying enough stuff. Did you not use the money for provisions? What do you think we gave it to you for? Go stock up on items. And wow, okay. Fine. I'll be bad. <laughs> Anything catch I had not on. actually seen that before. Fine, fine. I'll buy some fucking potions, dick. That's a fine choice. Use it wisely. I'm gonna buy three more given the variant. I'm sure that'll come in handy. There. Use it wisely. Thanks for the business. There. It would appear your preparations are complete. I'll have the Knight's Order provide support as well. Have to increase message speed. Not necessary. You think he's just assigning someone to keep tabs on us? I am Albano Hero. My family has guarded the Southlands for generations. I offer my support to the adventurers. Albano. I leave this to you. It shall be done, sir. Albano glares at you as soon as the Knight Commander leaves. The Knight Commander is heir to the Duke. He is not for taking directions from the likes of you. Albano keeps his voice low so as not to carry. I am not as lenient as the Commander. I will not tolerate any behavior that disturbs harmony. Knight Commander surveys the surroundings. All who gather under the banner of the Blue Lion, hear my voice. My sword fights for my king. My shield shall protect the realm. Next, stand at attention and repeat the Knight Commander's words. From this moment on, we begin the campaign to reclaim the king. Well, where do we go next? Right. Well, we have to go in first to get anything else. Perhaps evil awaits. Only one place. way to be sure. Our information can be changed during exploration. And yeah, it's just moving people around. I don't need to do that game I don't need to do. Stop forcing me to do that. Thank you. Something shiny off the edge of the cliff. More herbs. Okay, yeah, the entire is, area. Is, someone? Explored. is someone there? That childhood friend was killed. All because he went out to check the crops at night. Damn it! Nothing like this happened in the capital. All because the royal family's in shambles. Damn it! God. My wife was killed by a monster. Here on the capital's doorstep, no less. Are the knights not sworn to protect us? And yet we have no choice but to rely Damn. on them. Damn it! Damn it all! Yes. The knight commander is strong. He bears the banner of the lion. I'm sure he'll see things through somehow.
There's something there. Give me, give me money! I'm on it. Alright, yep. Disarm when the line is in the success area. Disarm the trap. Please stop doing that. You're throwing off my timing. Try to disarm the trap until the counter reaches zero. Yeah, you see that? Translucent pebble. These are entire. These are sell items. I believe there's a campaign going on that's increasing the amount of sell items that pop up, which I need to take full advantage of to get Who's more money on my main account. Uh. Oh, gallant knights, I beseech you, please protect this kingdom. It's people. Someone's there. Look, there's something happening at the abyss. People have gathered. You know what they're doing? The knights of barred entry. <laughs> For the sake of the kingdom or no, where do they get off? They're the ones who failed to rescue the king once already. Who's there? <laughs> Father said he'd go to the abyss because he could earn money, but he never came back. Are the knights going to find Father too? Don't startle me like that. The abyss lies just ahead. Just imagining it turns my knees to jelly. I've been too afraid to approach the abyss. But I finally got up the nerve to get this close. It's absolutely terrifying. But the experience will lend strength to my work. Alec? Is that you, Alec? No. You're not Alec. I, I'm sorry. Your mask looks a lot like my son's. If you see a young man with a mask similar to yours, could you please tell him that his family was looking for him? Please tell him his grandfather forgives him. Moon bows and walks away. Hello? And what's this? Is someone there? I see a heap of dead bodies. Blast it. If you're going to die, do it away from me. Adventurers and thieves are at each other's throats down here. Hey, this isn't some exhibition. If you interfere with the night's raid, you'll be cleared out as well. What's with all the racket? Since you got so much pent-up energy, you can accompany me to rescue the king, can't you? The Lady Elmon, these are part of the king's rescue party? By all means, please proceed. May luck favor your sword. By all means, please. Okay. Hello? Someone's there. Is someone there? The fate of the kingdom rests with you. We beseech you, return the king to us. We await your good word. My fellow rescue party members, may luck favor your swords. Who's there? What could this be? Oh. Please be careful out there. The monsters of the abyss are formidable. I will wait here for reinforcements. Yeah, this guy's not going to move out of the way for the, this thing right here that's just important. I smell <gasps> someone. Monsters of the Abyss are formidable. Even the goblins. Let your guard down and you'll lose the, uh, your life, Royal Knight or not. Send something, someone nearby. Who dare? Oh, God. Human is not bad, goblin. Oh, God. Use me a lot. Use me go. Nah. Ah, busted. Run. Goblin slips away before you can react. If you trust him, he ambushes you. The knight is already dead. Didn't even notice that there was actually someone right there. Well, anyways. This floor feels different. Okay, yeah, everything's shifted. Got it. Hmm. Isn't that a treasure? Enemies. Hurry and open it. 
I'm on it. Oops. Okay. Yeah. You can see, you see when that? I screwed up, her uh, fortitude went down by one. That happens. Who's there? Oh. Man, there's nothing worthwhile left on the higher, safer floors. Going lower means risking your life, but I'd hate to return empty-handed. I don't know what to do. Right, that settles it. I'm an adventurer, after all. I'll just have to push forward as far as I can. I see it. Efficiency is next to godliness. You're the one. Okay, I got speed up off him. Yep, increase battle speed. Thank you. Auto battle. Um, I don't want to waste Adam's spells right now. What does he even have right now? Yeah, he only has four of us right now. Yeah, Alvana will pop up and help out too. Box is a plant strewn about the room. They're full of herbs and dried flowers. They smell pretty nice. Someone's there. I heard the abyss was full of treasure, but all we're finding are monsters. The two I came in with were devoured by monsters. Oh, we only wanted to take a look around. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Just wish I could take their guild tags back. You're better off turning back. There's a line of many small crates. They feel with something red and wet. Hmm? Something's fallen. What is it? Don't be careless. It could be a trap. Come on, gives us a snort of derision at, as next to her, Vernon's hand stops in place. It smells of spices. Yes. The scent of sage and oregano. Like you would use when making sausage, right? You're saying this is... ground meat? I don't even want to think about who did this. Or what kind of meat it is. Meat? Probably fresh off the bone. See what your power can do. Alright. Stretch out your hand, but nothing happens. I guess not everything can be brought back to life. Maybe there's not enough left. Or there's too much mixed together. Alright. Try touching a box containing some kind of meat with my right hand, but nothing happened. Seems like not any remains can be resurrected. Is it because they're mixed, or is there not enough bones? I see it! I've faltered. Ta huh? Oh, what? Damn. Can't be. Yeah. Ah. No way. Really? Kiss your goodbye. Huh? What? Can't be. That could have gone way better. Fear. Be on your guard. Drop all your money Jeez. and go. Shut.
paying attention in case there's something up here. Which there clearly isn't. Okay. What's in it? I'm on it. Yeah, you see that? Getting junk, so more stuff. Sell items. I'm definitely gonna. Where's uh, Fortitude Restore? Okay, yep. Right, I do have. That is a notification. Uh, they recover Fortitude at one every six minutes. It mostly matters because the lower their Fortitude, the harder it is to revive them. And permadeath does exist in this game, but as long as you revive a character at above 51 fortitude, you pretty much will never see it. What am I looking for? Relics of the Abyss, of course. And of course, um, they recover fortitude while they're dead too. So there's so basically just you know put down the game. When they die, they lose 30 fortitude as well. So it's a case of if you don't want to risk it, just put down the game for about an hour or two. <laughs> As magical items, they fetch a hefty sum on the black market. Or, you know, just put in one of your reserve party members, one or the other. What are you doing in the Abyss if you don't even know that? I'm sure everybody might have enough experience points. Yep, okay. I have enough experience points. When you see the bar full, it means that you can level up. As you can see, you still gain experience points even after you get, you have the ability to level up. What's wrong? Okay, everybody else has like three experience points. Everybody does. What's wrong? Has the same experience gauge thing. Be quick about it. Yeah, none of my party members are. Do I sense coin? Particularly, particularly like me yet. The more you travel with people, the uh, more friendlier they actually get. Though because I'm good, Adam, Adam and me, Amelia might not ever. I, I their affection rate can go up. I've. Never seen Amelia's goes up. I probably have to do very specific things in order to do that. And Adam, I've heard, I've heard of people just ne Adam just never inviting them out to the tavern or doing anything like that, even when they're evil. So I don't hurry know. and open it. I'm on it. Yeah, you see that? Coins. Definitely getting a lot of that stuff. Give me, give me money. I'm on it. Yeah, you see that? Oh. These plants. They're supposed to be... They're, they're supposed to be particular plants and ores that can only be found in the abyss. That's what the adventurers and thieves are after. And ultimately, there are those that come to dwell in the abyss. There's nothing good about the abyss, but it's hard to say that people are too much better. Uh, okay, well, we know. Let's see where we're at right here. It's best to jump enemies when they don't see you. Enemy spotted. Oh, where? I see it. Okay, there's one over there. And there's one right there. Efficiency is next to godliness. Stupid adventurers. Nah, that should be fine. I was contemplating. How could I miss? Guess that takes care of that. Oh, hurry and open it. I'm on it. Oh, too early. Yeah, you see that? It's not budging, of course it isn't. I see it. Oh, another one. Yeah, if you move away far enough, they will lose track of you. So it's very easy to stealth around if you need to. Be on your guard. Goblin. Oh, goblins are very fast little dudes. Okay. I have faltered. Need help? Oh, healing. Ah. Sneaky. 
Also, experience is not split among party members, so there's no point in actually just not... It, like, having less party members. They're not so tough. Let's be quick about Stupid it. Stupid adventurers! Okay. Yeah. Damn it. Now, as soon as I try doing that, everybody immediately starts missing. Right, I keep forgetting Eckert's here because of how slow he is. There sounds of rummaging from the nearby room. What's inside? I'm on it. Yeah, you see that? I don't know how many of these chests are the predetermined ones and which ones are the random ones. What's the matter? You woke up here? You're pretty lucky that there weren't any enemies around. Do I, I smell sense someone? coin? What's in it? I'm on it. Yeah, you see that? Okay, medium weapon. Hmm. What? You're also here to scavenge for the bodies? I'm already taking my fill, so you can have the rest. Nothing but bo left but bones, though. Bones. Ransack corpse here. And the adventure said there's nothing but bones left. Yeah, more bones. Doesn't seem to be anything else. Bones are always good. Do I sense coin? What's inside? Melee, I'm on up. it. Yeah, you see that? Alright. Medium armor. Right, I, yeah, I need to go back and actually do, do those missions, don't I? Gang junk. Hmm. Okay. Everything here is pretty worn out. Most of the junk you find in the abyss is useless, but supposedly very rarely there are items of great value. Things like magic resistant armor or weapons with the power of entities. Or that notable mages or researchers can ascertain Junk's original power. Although, with the right hand or reversal, you don't need that ability. Yes. It's also broken up. I don't think we can restore it here. Oh, tap to enlarge. Okay, map tutorial. There we go. Tap at the point where you want to auto-move to, then tap the auto-move to go to that location. I don't need to do that right now. It's an easy way of getting out of the dungeon or to specific points. I've already cleared out all the enemies here, so the enemies do respawn sometimes. It kind of depends on the floor. Um, uh, on this floor, they're not going to respawn, so um, I could just go to the exit and not have to worry about running into any... Because there, there are no random battles in this game. Oh. No music, so... Okay. Enemy's staring at you. Okay. Well, we can either fight, try to ignore them, try to ambush them, plead, or administer a healing item. I'm, I've never tried administering healing item. Plead is mistranslated. It's extort. Which I'm going to do. Enemy drops something and departs. They drop a treasure chest if you do that. I don't really want to deal with a hobgoblin right for? now. Open it! Three coins. Ah, uh, whatever. It's money, I suppose. What? Something hanging from the ceiling. Oh, something sure. hanging from. The Did that goblin work? I seen it like when I went to the uh, goblin hunting at the countryside. Could mean that there's a large nest nearby. What's the matter? 
Seem awfully wary of something up there. Have you done battle with a powerful enemy out here before? Lunard looks all around. I don't, I don't sense any powerful enemies right now, anyway. Okay, I was about to say, I want to go this that way because I want to get to this thingy right here. Oh. To have a point where you want to mark and then mark, uh, then mark on the map. Mark spot is kind of useless, in my opinion, because, like, I could, I, yeah, you can just do that in, like, mark spot. The problem, the reason why mar I find it useless is because the moment you leave the dungeon, all the marks go away. So they never struck me as being particularly helpful. And what trap? Oh, thank you. I, I I definitely like some of the animations for this game when that stuff stuff like that happens. <sighs> Spy is in terrible condition. Not even the temple can save them now. It looks like they've been eaten, picked clean by something. A monster, perhaps? If this room is the one I think it is, there should be another trap right in front of me, and I probably don't want to step there. And possibly right there too. My God! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Hobgoblins are bad. Kill them immediately. You better heal before you die. Thank you. Need help? Oh, healing. Okay. Only downside of having MC in the front is you're at risk of pretty much everything. Oh, huh? Damn what? it! Can't be. Guess that takes care of that. I expect more from you. Okay. Yeah, this way. Uh, the map layouts are not always identical. They're not always identical. Efficiency is next to godliness. Okay, um. Oh, light. Yeah, I don't have any skills, so. <laughs> she has nothing she can do. Eckhart yeah. has cover. But cover's chance based, it's not guaranteed. Okay, he Nice, he, he attacked, um... Albano, who can't die. Or maybe he can, I have no idea. Ooh, chest. Hurry and open it. I'm on it. Yeah, you see that? Where's the old coin? Let's get any junk. Okay, we made it eight here. What in the world? Wait. Yes, I know. I know there's something in this room I was exploring. I at least wanted to get to this point. Okay. It's broken. I still sense traces of power, though. Hey, what are you doing over there? You can't just be wandering around the abyss. I, Sir Albano, will not allow it. It's the ruins of a Harkin shrine. You found rubbish. Surely an adventurer such as yourself has heard of Harkins. Hmm. Doesn't even know about Harkins. And you call yourself an adventurer? This is the shrine of Harkin, god of travel. The shrines of Harkin bestow their blessings on all, which is why the church denounces them as heretical. A Harkin's rope possesses the power to transcend time and space. It can be used to instantly return to the city or to move directly to another shrine. If it were intact, it would have made our search a little safer, but it will grant no blessing in its current state. There is still a divine presence in this shrine. I'll bet you could restore it with your right hand of reversal. Alright. Explore V1. Regard Harkin.
for Harkin emits a mystic mystical light. My intuition's not half bad, wouldn't you say? Is something the matter? Who are you talking to? There's no one here. Surely you aren't seeing something, are you? What's this? A Harkin shrine here, of all places. How could we have overlooked something of such importance last time? This must be a sign that our current expedition has been blessed. And it has been found thanks to you. You have my gratitude. You don't have to protect the others. Only me. Right, we can go back. Let's go back and have supper. At the end to level up. Yay. This is the guy I think it's right. Where so much my parents in the country. But with the abyss now open, I fear to leave the city. They are safe. Right. Thought I'd be safe in the castle town. Who thought the king himself would be taken by monsters from the abyss? It's dreadful. Mm -hmm. Pray every day for a speedy rescue. Do come back safe and sound. <sighs> my love is a royal knight. So, so he was part of the advance guard into the abyss, but he hasn't returned in so long. Could it be that he's already... Dear God. No, I won't give up hope until I know for sure. Okay, uh, before we do that... Adventuring is so fun. Let's go back to the beginning of abyss. Not there, though. Because I missed an event. An important one. Because I rushed through the labyrinth and because I actually know what I'm doing. Um, I think I just need to get back here. Let's move. Someone's there. Who's there? What in the world? Hello? Is someone there? Hey, hey. There you go. You usually get this event if you exit out the stairs. So, uh, I guess if you r manage to get to the Harkin early, uh, you would actually skip this event, which is a bad thing. Says a thin voice. You turn around to see a poorly dressed man standing there. Y y you know. I hear you're collecting old bones. I've got some bones. You buying? Bone picking, huh? It's a job for people who can't make ends meet. If you collect bones from the ground, you can sell them to processors. They don't pay much, though. Bones are easy to process. They can be made into combs, hair ornaments, knife handles, spatulas. And even toothbrush handles. Small scraps of bone can even be boiled to make soap. But if the bones are blatantly human, processors might not buy them. Mages and doctors might want them, though. You could try talking to one of them. <laughs> I'll give you just one for a hundred gold. <gasps> you know something? It's terribly old, and yet I sense life within it. There might be something special about these bones. So yes, yeah, so you can choose one of these bones. These are each of the six legendary characters. So you get to pick pick one for free no matter what. Um, I can go over them later, but yeah, the Millennial Lord is Adam, the one I already got. It's kind of a tough choice. I mean, in all honesty, the one on the bottom is probably the one I m will probably go for because she's in my main party and she's really hard to replace. But I'm going to say buy nothing for right now. <sighs> Don't check your fancy, huh? Too bad. See you soon. No, you can't. You cannot miss out on this event. Uh, he will sit. Um, he'll stay in town until you uh, actually until you Hurry buy the onward. bone. Resume on a move. On a move to the nearest exit. Right. Hurry onward. There we go. What's this? I should have enough gems to get more I'm bones. I'm gonna drink myself stuff. silly after this. Huh. Okay. Okay. Tap. Tap to display. Oh, inventory refill. Right. This. 
or you can refill your stock of potions whenever you go, and you can even uh, set it so that it automatically buys stuff. A, th a thing that I've not used uh, yet. He's right there. Okay. Um. Hell, oh, adventures. Here, adventures comes walking along. Hey. We need to get strong already. Let's go level I up. I don't think so. Leveling up isn't the only way to get stronger. Gotta enhance the equipment too. What? No, no. When worst comes to worst, uh, uh, ability means the difference between life and death. Mm. Hmm. Got a point. Brushing up on skills is important too. Let's go into the training grounds later. Her adventurers continue on their way. Welcome to the Guild Tavern, okay, where yeah, legends are born. Okay, soon we can do this thing right here. So yeah, the daily quest that I got, which I should be able to do most of these. I probably have access to the other daily quests. Woo. Maybe not. Okay, I did not need to do those. Okay, cool. Probably worth it to do it anyway, so you get more experience points that way. But yeah, more gems is always good. Weekly. And chess. The stars are just the points that are up here. And you get guild points for doing this type of stuff. Mostly guild points. Their guild points are used for spending on other types of things. Of course, if you buy the pass with real money, you can get more stuff, but I don't think it's actually worth it. Lamp of Mouse is the Lamp of Mouse event. We also got the Saver the Risk thing, which is the current thing. Which has a couple... Which has nice stuff in it, if I can get... See at the end and level up five times. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to hit up these, because some of these have bones. We also save for the save for the risk too, which okay, yeah, they're attached. Which I can get more bones. Now then. Anything yeah, catch your fancy? Yeah, there's the daily quest stuff, which I can just do. Adventure goes all around the kingdom. If you come across one, go on inside. You may find useful information. Okay. If we can go inside the tavern real quick. Mm hmm. You see, console of a seasoned adventure such as myself, do you? You can't go wrong asking me, after all. My enormously long years give me more abundantly more experience than you. Very well. What do you wish to know about? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of shit that he talks about. Like well then. Each different little thing. I've kind of brought up pretty much just about everything at this point. Probably the mm -hmm. only things are like types. Yeah, everyone is born with a blessing of elements. Fire, water, earth, uh, fire, water, air, earth, light, dark type. Excuse me? Everything has an affinity. Fire is strong against air, air against earth, earth to water, water to fire. Light is strong against dark, dark strong against Thanks. light. Thanks. It's your favorite type. You deal more damage and receive less damage. Your XC as well. Oh, it affects accuracy. Okay. You know, that's something I did not notice. When fighting, be aware of your opponent's type and create a common advantage. Mm. Very rarely are those of no type. They have no elemental blessing. Such an individual see no type damage increase or decrease in battle. Not favorable, not unfavorable. MC, it by default, is a uh, void. And sometimes adventurers pop up in here. Well, other players. Guildhall's pack. Hey! Wait a minute. Wait your turn. Oh, Adric, you're back. I heard you can use Harkins in the Abyss now. Is that true? You nod and Arna claps her hands together. Whoa! Being more and more inquiries of adventurers who have uh, heard rumors that a major Harkin has been unlocked. The guild hasn't been able to verify it, and we've been stumped. Yay! If you say so, I can believe it. Now I can direct adventurers with peace of mind. Hey! By the way, do you know of any adventurers who are free at the moment? I've received a dispatch request from the uh, party of adventurers who are short on hands. Yep. Well, dispatch request, you won't be able to organize your own team, but you'll gain experience and po points and earn money. You should get dispatch request to try. Okay. Thanks for paying attention. I was going to click down the update. Good dispatches or try, yeah. Dispatches, I've mentioned that before in the other video. You dispatch, you select like the character. With dispatch. Put somebody in there. As long as I get a fair share. Their equipment does matter. Hey. 
Why do you got an ally dispatch? Why don't you? Um, I mean, you would probably be a while. Why don't you have a drink and wait? Yeah, the first one's just free. Then, as you can see, it takes four hours. Hey! Looks like they're back from the dispatch. Go get the report. They can gain experience points and level up from it, too. I'm glad you made it back safely. You also got me a bunch of junk. You did not level up. I guess this one didn't give experience points, it just gave junk. Anything catch your eye? Dispatches can be done as many times as you like. Okay. I don't want to put As long as I get a fair share. You're forcing me to do it. I don't if I must. Wonder. Okay, yeah, it'll be four hours before he comes back. Training room. Brought up in the other thing too, but yeah, it's gonna I guess it didn't give me the tutorial for that. Okay. Well, okay. What do you need? Yeah. Discipline. I have extra care copies of them so I can get give them Knight's Creed. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Knight's Creed. What does it do? Uh, it increases stat, attack, power, and stun tolerance. One co one copy is enough to get them to one, one level. Or I can inherit skills. Yeah, I know. Um, hers in particular is Latumo Feast, which is uh, the... Uh, poison curing spell. You can also use this to level up the spell. So if she already has it, then she can uh, gain a level in it too. Generics usually give these things: magic attack power, ma attack power up, magic power up, so on. Delay attack, hiding, self healing, treasure trap, disarm skill, so on and so forth. Uh, Ophelia has counter attack. So yeah, this is how you can teach characters other skills. There is no limit to the amount of skills a character can learn. So, yeah. I was checking to see what some characters had. Alright, she has self-healing. Okay. So learning to splend that. Have a good one. Okay, so let's go to the Welcome. Please come in. I was just tending to my flowers. Flowers are just splendid. They heal people. And adventurers, too, of course. But this time of year, the fragrance isn't quite so strong. Say, dear, if you happen across the seeds of any fragrant plants on your adventures, bring them to me. Alright. We keep more plants for gardening to give a nice aroma. Any fragrant herb will do. I'll pay you a fair price. Keep that in mind. Be welcome. Okay. God, expensive. Okay. Talk. Hang on. Seeing more adventurers in the capital since the abyss opened. You can bed down the stables for free, but thefts seem to be on the rise, so it's not very safe. Well then. If you wish to rest well, I recommend paying for a room. We provide hot bath water for guests who stay the night in our rooms. So much easier to sleep when you're all clean, don't you agree? I don't think I've been in the labyrinth long enough for dirt to happen, but I can check. What do you need? You can usually tell if a character's uh you can tell the, the dirty dirt on them. Slight a slight amount, it looks like on her. Typically they have to get hit in order to get dirty. What's wrong? But yeah. If you rest at the stables, it costs nothing, but there's a chance that you might get robbed for a large chunk of your money that costs more than the rooms. Um, sleeping in the room it also doesn't clean the characters. In fact, they might get effect, uh, they might get bitten by bugs while in the stables, which doesn't affect anything, as far as I know. Uh, sleeping in the rooms uh, cleans them up more based on that. For minors, uh, private rooms and royal suites have a chance of getting you potions, various types of potions. It also cleans the characters more, and I, which probably gives, which from my understanding, gives them more affection. Adventures. Right. But you need to rest you. in order to actually gain levels. In order to spend your experience points and all that stuff. Aren't I leveling a little slower than other parties? Okay. Haven't I gotten pretty strong? One must be strong to get... I thought as much. Yes, this feels more like it. 
You leveled up? Had a good sleep? Right. Everybody's leveled up, yay. Do come again. Okay, what else we got? Well, there's the jeweler. Welcome, esteemed patron. Yeah, this guy is the, uh, yeah, the cash shop guy. What do you see? For the most part, yeah, you can see how much this goes for. For the most part, the vast majority of this is, doesn't matter. Purple gems are the ca are the cash gems. Don't bother. There's also the these also these which are special gems. These are for the special limited banners. I wasn't. I, I didn't mean to actually click on that. Okay. If it has both, it means you can pay for uh, pay with it for either. Pretty much the main important thing is, uh, unless you're not rolling, if you're rolling on a limited banner, which I'm, just, I already have two thousand, so I might as well just. All excellent choices. May good fortune. And two thousand gets you eleven versus two hundred for one, one each. Other than that, this is probably the most important thing. Once per day, you can spend one hundred gold to get ten gems. Everything to your gems. liking. May good fortune visit you. Anyways. Back out. I am now, the main reason why I want that is because this is actually the character that I want. From the Legendary it's Bone. As but if always. I get her here, then I can get someone else. Alright, let's do the junk reversal first. Let's see what we get. Not that get getting more... Ooh. Not that getting multiple copies of her is bad. In fact, it's actually really good. Okay, Har we got a hardwood staff that we can get to Adam. The accuracy doesn't really affect it because spells don't miss. Uh, defense 2 and action speed plus 1. Uh, if you see the colors, it just means that they have the blessings automatically unlocked. If you level, uh, the, they will normally you have to, be, as you can see, unlock that enhancement value plus 15. This is 5, 10, and so on. But if they're already unlocked, when you manage to uh, get to plus 5... This value will actually get enhanced. How high these things roll depends on star level. So that be these being one star means that they're just not going to roll very high in general. But this is the beginning of the game, so it doesn't really matter that much. Ooh. Hey, divine. That means that, um, yeah. Cool. Good shit. All right, let's do these. Old bones. What? Let's see what we get off of this. Well, it's not a legendary. You can tell because it doesn't have anything else. Where am I? My name is Ophelia. Ophelia. I can merge her for self. All right, but she also teaches counter tech, which is nice to level up. But oh well. Okay. Let's see if we get anything interesting off of this. Oh, 50 times? Okay. Beast Thief. Beast Thief again. What the? Oh, so bright! Where am I? I remember having fallen out with my party, and then nothing after that. What? You brought me back to life? Right, Gaston. Light! I see light! I am clearly not in the presence of God here. It was you who saved me? I am Galena. A revered priestess. God must have sent you to save me. Oh, my bastard of a father, Bakesh. Morning already? Wait, what? Where the heck am I? I thought my pointless life was finally over, and now you're saying there's more? What a pain. 
the voices of the entities. This is inexplicable. Where am I? My name is Dino, a spell researcher. I take it you must be an adventurer. If you find any interesting spells on your journeys, you must let me know. The voices. My name is Dino, a spell. Okay. I also got 10 coins. Okay, no, nothing of interest. What do we get? Okay, another fighter. Got it. Okay. Might as well explain the coins, I suppose. I guess I got the save. Did I get far enough for that? I did. Which means I got another bone for that banner. So, yeah, I got some decent equipment off of that. Wait, why, is this, why was it still red? That usually means it's I can still roll. Gloomy as always. Oh, it's because it's telling me the feature. Right, might as well click on it. We must display thine true power. Agora, the time has come to awaken thine power. Behold the power of face. I'll show you something fierce. Hammer of the blacksmith. Fine. I'll do it. Go away! I will handle this. Oh, great entities! Your annihilation awaits! I'll show you. You shall learn. I shall show you the results of my research. Well, Doctor, we must do our part, too. Witness the power of the star! Leave this to me! Have at you! Out of my way. I'll do it. Shatter! Okay, yeah. So there's this guy, Gerard. Basically, the special things about... Pretty much, like, the paid ones give you a chance to... When you get him, you can get his sword. Which is pretty strong. And then this is the one with the green bones, which you get from the non-paid ones. Which you don't get, you can't get his weapon, basically. There is a way to still get it, and she has, like, she has her Blade of Quizzen art. I believe her armor is also on there, too. This is basically an alt skin of Lana Vale, who's uh, also on... Who's also, who's the one with the crown right here. Basically, it's it's just an alternate costume. I, I have it on my main account. I've kind of explained it on that vi on the video that I did with that. So, and from what I understand, all the characters will eventually. Oh, I got achievements. Right. Equipment. Okay. Well, I guess I just got the gloves on. Okay. So we want weapons, equipment, and stuff. Um, okay. Bone man. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just gonna do it. Probably just do it now. <laughs> um. Yep. Yeah. yeah, basically, it t it gives it tells you who you're getting before you make the choice instead of having to go by the thing. Yep, she can heal the wounds of her allies. She is extremely useful in the early game. Thanks. And she gets even better <laughs> if you, she gets even better the longer uh, if you get more copies of her. 
It's or if you participate in the event always. and get the uh, skill experience points, which is how I got her skill to level 2. It's quite useful, so yeah, might as well just get her now. dream I was pr princess of the kingdom of Cloroa my name is Lanaville All right So I'm probably going to put her into the party over Eckert cuz she's also a knight And although Eckert is very tanky she's much faster than he is Welcome to the Guild Tavern, where legends okay, so are born. Eventual. Someone you want to register? Mm -hmm. Certainly. She has six Have points. I done uh, something wrong? She's a tank, so she... Yeah. Me? An adventurer? May as well. I've nowhere else to go. Who's going to be in your party? Okay, good. Don't 700. expect anything from me. I won't either. Good and reliable team there. She's uh, she has two passives, which are pretty nice. Um, Have I done uh, something wrong? This one increases damage to en enemies for ev everyone in the row. For everyone in a row, if they're good or neutral. So basically, if it, for ev if everybody in the, in the row that she's in is good or neutral aligned, they all get a bonus. It's ten percent. The other one is this one right Something here. Wrong? Minor HP upon winning a battle. Recovery is reduced. Yeah, it basically uh, all their transferable skills are weaker if they're put on someone else. It's 12 HP, which at this point in the game, 12 HP is a lot. It goes up if you get more copies of her and just beef up the skill. It goes up by uh, 10 points on the second level, 12 points on the third level, and alternating between there. I find it really hard to pull, take her out of my party purely because um, she's pr um, because just because of that heal. That's a nice piece of equipment. Okay. Um, right, I just manage all. Okay, sword. Yeah, dagger. Okay, right, dagger. Better shield. Shoes. A nice piece of equipment. Okay. Oh, right, I don't have rank. What's wrong? Oh. Yeah, I don't have a ring at all. Um, who's not in the party that I have? Uh, oh. That's a nice piece that way of I have equipment. Some, e some defense. Okay, um. What's wrong? What do you think? You're in the front, so you need a shield. She has a crack sword too. Have I done uh something wrong? I'm not used to her voice like that. She talks very differently. Be quick about it. Okay, yeah. For, 42 magic power, yeah. Oh no, that's the divinity one. Uh this one. I like this. His accuracy doesn't matter. It only matters if he's using his physical attacks. Okay. What's wrong? Do I look good in this? Yeah, my better weapons and stuff for later. Anyways, screw it. Have a good one. Yeah, she'll be on she'll be level lower level than her, but everyone else, but it's fine. What is this bugging me about? No sense. Oh, okay. Bu various bugs and updates and stuff. Yeah, okay. It's fine. 